Let's get back to Hurricane Florence. We have someone in the disaster cleanup business. Sheldon Yellen is the CEO of Belfort Property Restoration. Sheldon, welcome to the program. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Stuart. Nice to see you. I don't want to be crass about this because people are hurting here, but it is clearly sure. an opportunity for your company, and I take it you've jumped on it. You've got resource heading down there now. Yes, sir, we do. And uh, as of uh, last night, we've uh, checked in all of our 1,206 people into Rocky Mount, North Carolina, where we're staging all of our equipment, our mobile command centers, all of our tractor trailers with food, water, and equipment to perform. Uh, we will uh, then be dispatched throughout the coast as needed. And uh, we have 150 people standing by from about 29 other Belfort offices throughout the country to be dispatched well, each day starting tomorrow, another 150 people every day for the next six days. We'll build up to 2,000 people on the ground there. Well, and, Sheldon, uh, hold on a second. Who's paying for this? Is there, are, you, is it, are you under government contract, or are you moving people down there and picking up private business? We pick up private business. Uh, we deal with uh, multinational companies, and uh, we do all the commercial work and uh, multifamily work that comes our way. We have pre-existing clients, uh, Red Alert clients, that know us throughout the years. Uh, I've been doing this 34 years. Belfort, uh, as a brand, has been known. And, uh, in fact, back in 99, uh, during Floyd, we rebuilt half of Wrightsville Beach, all the properties right on the coast there. And uh, we've already received calls from some of the communities that, you know, wanted us to be on notice for them. Again, Sheldon, I, I don't want to be crass. People are hurting and people are in danger. Yeah. I, I got that. Yeah. But would it be true to say that in the short term, this is an economic problem? It's short-term economics bad, but long-term, probably a positive, because a lot of money is going to be spent on reconstruction. Would you agree with that? Uh, yes, sir, I would. And uh, you, you hit the nail on the head there. In the short term, everything comes to a small little halt. And again, you, we got to make sure that everybody is safe. And, and until people return back to their homes and their businesses, which could be three or four days later, uh, things are at a standstill. Utilities are down. Infrastructure is affected. And until the government authorities get things back up and running, which takes a little bit of time, then all of a sudden all of the resources come into town as you're talking about, and these communities start to rebuild themselves. And there's an enormous uh, amount of influx of people that need hotel rooms, that need more gas, that need food, that buy clothes, that are working to restore these communities back to their pre-existing conditions. And then that economic boom does take place. Okay. And I'm sorry, and Sheldon, true. I'm running short on time, but look, great work. You got a lot of people going into operation down there. Yes, uh, congratulations to Belfort. Sheldon Thank Yellen, you. thanks for joining us, sir. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you.